I'm Derek McKenzie. I'm a soil scientist at the University of Alberta, and today we're at Greener Pastures Pasture Walk. So I came on the pasture walk today to talk about soil health. And in this area, uh, all of the soils are typically, or were before agricultural production, were orthic gray luvisol soil, so gray wooded soils in this area. And so we started off looking at uh, a soil profile in a wooded area, and what we saw was sort of typical, really light gray colored soils that are typical of, of gray wooded soils. And then we went out into the pastures and where we saw sort of rotational grazing and, and regenerative management, we saw uh, very well developed AH horizons that were you know, light brown to dark brown in color and five to 10 centimeters deep. And so that's really interesting that it implies that over the course of cultivation, so over the course of 100 years, we've changed these soils from gray wooded soils to some kind of managed soil. And with this rotational grazing for the last 20 years, it seems as though there's been a significant addition of organic matter to the A horizon of the soils and an increase in soil structure and porosity associated with that. I mean, I think that's, that's interesting because I think it shows how much potential these luvisol soils have for carbon sequestration. And I think that with regenerative management, be that with compost or manure additions in grain fields or rotational grazing in pastures, these soils have the potential to sequester uh, a massive amount of carbon. So going forward, I think we need data on this. We need to quantify all of the great anecdotal evidence that exists with our partner producers that have seen their soils change over the past 20 years of management but we need to add experimental data to quantify those changes and to talk about what is the potential for carbon storage with with regenerative management and how that can be used to mitigate climate change.